Hello, Alex. Hi there. How's it going? I want us to have a conversation. Sounds good. What's on your mind today? Please be using only two sentences. Absolutely. I'll keep it brief. Uh, what would you like to talk about? Uh, what do you think is the best motivation for someone to keep going in life? The best motivation often comes from having meaningful goals and a sense of purpose. Connecting with what you truly value and enjoy can drive you to keep moving forward. Don't you think it's weird for death to keep you motivated? Like knowing that one day I will die, so I must do everything that is good to the people, to myself. That's a profound perspective. Knowing that life is finite can indeed be a powerful motivator to make the most of every moment and pursue what truly matters to you. Many people use the awareness of mortality to inspire them to live meaningfully and make a positive impact. What do you think about religion? Is it legit? Was religion there before? Religion evolved over time through various cultures and societies. It wasn't brought by one person, but developed from the beliefs and practices of, of early human communities. How old do you think the Earth is? The Earth is estimated to be about 4.5 billion years old. This age is determined through methods like radiometric dating of rocks and minerals. There are some people who believe that uh, there is a picture of Jesus and they hang them on their walls, churches, they have the statues. Yes, many people display images and statues of Jesus as a way to express their faith and devotion. These representations can serve as spiritual symbols and reminders of their beliefs. Are you aware of that one picture of Jesus that's all over the world? Historically, many depictions of Jesus were influenced by the cultures and societies of the artists who created them. Um, in Europe, where many early Christian artworks were made, artists often depicted Jesus with features similar to their own. Today, there's a growing movement to represent Jesus in ways that reflect his historical context and the diversity of believers around the world. What do you think about the Bible? It includes religious teachings, history, and guidance for believers. Yes. Who wrote the Bible? Uh, the Bible is a collection of texts written by various authors over many centuries. Traditionally, it's believed to be inspired by God and written by figures such as Moses, David, Solomon, and the apostles of Jesus. Uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament were written by different groups of people in different historical contexts. Do you know parts in the Bible where they contradict? Yes, there are some passages in the Bible that seem to contradict each other. One example is the differing accounts of Jesus' resurrection in the Gospels. For instance, the Gospel of Matthew describes an angel rolling back the stone from Jesus' tomb, while the Gospel of John mentions that the stone was already ro ready rolled away uh, when Mary Magdalene arrived. These variations in details can lead to different interpretations. There are some discrepancies in dates within the Bible. For example, the timeline of events in the Old Testament, such as the duration of the Israelites' time in Egypt, can vary depending on different interpretations of the text. According to the Bible, Moses and the Israelites crossed the Red Sea in a single night. The story is found in the book of Exodus and it describes how the waters parted for them to escape from Egypt. Logically, a single night would be a short time to cross a large sea, especially given the historical context. Beneath the sea, there are various things like marine life, underwater landscapes, and shipwrecks. If the sea were to be separated or divided, it would indeed be a significant and disruptive event, affecting ecosystems and possibly causing natural disasters. The idea of parting the sea is often seen as a miraculous event in religious texts, rather than a literal scientific occurrence. What about the seventh day? Seventh day. On the seventh day, according to the Bible, God rested from his work of creation. When was that? Was it a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday? The Bible doesn't specify the exact days of the week for creation. Does hell exist? Hell and heaven are often seen as concepts representing extremes of existence. Hell as a place or state of suffering, and heaven as one of peace and fulfillment. These concepts are used to explore ideas about justice, morality, and the afterlife, but they can be understood differently depending on individual beliefs and philosophies. Where is the location of hell? Heaven and hell are often described as abstract or metaphysical rather than physical places with specific locations. They represent states of being or existence rather than tangible locations.
The idea of burning in hell is symbolic for many and represents intense suffering or regret. Uh, whether this is literal or metaphorical depends on individual beliefs and interpretations. 